This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2022. Paraprosthetic joint infection, PJI, can be a serious complication of shoulder arthroplasty. In these cases, the presence of infection may not be clearly evident at the time of surgery, and surgeons must determine the need for and type of postoperative antibiotic treatment before intraoperative culture reports become available. In a new study, researchers retrospectively investigated the midterm outcomes of oral and IV antibiotic administration in patients who had undergone revision shoulder arthroplasty. They examined 92 patients who had undergone revision shoulder arthroplasty with postoperative antibiotic therapy. Patients who were deemed at high index for suspicion of infection by the surgeon had been prescribed IV antibiotics, whereas those deemed at low index had been prescribed oral antibiotics. The researchers evaluated their infection-free survival, revision-free survival, and patient reported outcomes. In selecting antibiotic therapy, surgeons correctly predicted the presence or absence of multiple positive cultures of specimens from the revision surgery in 72% of the 92 cases. They also found that both the patients who initially received IV antibiotics and those who initially received oral antibiotics had similar revision-free and infection-free survivorship. Moreover, patients who required a change from oral to IV antibiotics based on their culture reports had similar survivorship to those who were initially administered IV antibiotics. Both groups of patients further demonstrated similar simple shoulder test, American shoulder and elbow surgeons, and satisfaction scores. Finally, 91% of the patients who received either oral or IV antibiotics following revision arthroplasty, remained infection-free at a mean follow-up of four years. Antibiotic-related complications were not uncommon and were highest in the group that required a change from oral to IV antibiotics. These findings show that the midterm outcomes for patients with a high index of suspicion for infection initially administered IV antibiotics were similar to the midterm outcomes for those with a low index initially administered oral antibiotics.